Ja. Dang, it's still wet from last night. Or is this the um, ocean waves or something? It was so noisy last night, dude. Had a hard oh time God. sleeping. I know, me too. Ugh. Like, that was crashing super loud last night. Oh my gosh. Hey everyone, this is Jack and welcome back to my channel. We're spending the holidays in the Philippines and this is our full day in the Pearl Farm Resort in Davao City, which is on Samal Island, south of the Philippines. We were going to spend literally half the day or most of the day under the sea. Yeah, we're gonna go snorkeling. We actually brought our own gear because we don't trust the mouthpieces that are, you know, used and cleaned by other people. We do did have a complimentary activity that we could do each day that we were here and so we decided to start off with kayaking after breakfast. We were already changed and ready to go after breakfast, and so we headed straight to the area for activities. Oh. So they're calling a shuttle. <laughs> but it's pretty far from home. There was a two-seater kayak as well as a three-seater one. My family actually got the three-seater one, and since my partner is pretty big, he sat on the back of ours, and we got to a sandbar that they had recommended in about nine minutes. We had a whole hour to use the kayaks, and so it was about 20 minutes to and from, and then the rest of the time was swimming and exploring. Ready? Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh shit, we're turning around. No. Look at your family. Made it to the sandbar. The plan was to hold the kayaks as close together as possible so that they don't float away because the current was pretty strong, even though the waters were really calm. Time went by super, super fast. What treasures did you find this time? It's like Ariel. Goku, Goku. Whoa, okay. I don't know how I have a girl. Oh, your head legs are I borrowed my parents' plastic sleeve for my iPhone and took a dive with it. It was really cool to see the difference between the reefs here versus the reefs by the resort. The water is a lot deeper here, and so it is a little bit murkier, but it's also probably the plastic sleeve that is covering my phone because there's sunscreen and body oils on there, and I constantly had to check to see if the finder was greased up or not. I also found some trash, and any trash that I encountered along my swimming, I brought back to the kayak so that I could throw it away later. It really feels like I'm swimming in an aquarium, but the ironic part is that this is nature and that aquariums are what we see as a third party from the outside. So it's just funny when I was swimming around because I was thinking about this the whole time and how fish probably think that we're in their environment, but I'm thinking of a tank. It's just crazy because oceans are also held onto our planet by gravity. It's just where my mind went. <laughs> Oh, 
left behind. Alright guys, I think this is non-biodegradable. <sighs> Mission accomplished. We returned the kayaks and then headed back to the coral reefs in the shallow waters right outside of the suites. And I spent some time snorkeling by the steps because I didn't know the wall had steps. So it's the suites leaning down into the water. And then the furthest point that you could go to after the suites is netted off. And there was just so many trails of fish here as well. And there was a lot of urchin on the ground as well as family of starfish and sea cucumber too. That's our shells. I didn't know there were steps here, but it's really addicting going into the water and seeing sea life you don't usually get to see. So that's pretty cool. I literally swam for the entire morning and for the better part of the afternoon, but what I didn't account for was how strong the sun was reflecting down into the water with my butt up while I was snorkeling. I didn't put any sunblock on my lower half because I was just like, oh, you know, I'm gonna be standing in the water and it's gonna be deep and the rays won't reach me down there. Well, <laughs> later on you'll see that I pay the pretty price for having no protection on my bottom half, literally. Lesson learned here, always put sunblock, even if you don't feel like you're going to get burned, because you most likely will. Another lesson that I learned was don't swallow seawater. Seriously, try to throw it back up because I accidentally swallowed some after trying to take my snorkel gear off. There was still some water that was trapped in the tube and I ingested it. And for the rest of the day, I just felt my stomach start churning and churning and I thought it would be okay by the next day, but I actually felt even sicker. And we didn't have any pharmacy near us. We were warned to take some Ursaflora with us, which is a Filipino type of antibacterial fluid that you can take before you know you're going to another country like China or Vietnam, where you're not sure about water and some of their food safety. But yeah, didn't account for drinking seawater. And uh, I also paid a price for that later on, too. trash. There's no trash cans here. Oh. 
the earth is too pretty <sighs> to squander it. Lunchtime. Today, and we're gonna go exploring some crabos in the places. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, the stand is hot. Oh, they got this ready for us. After lunch, we decided to take our snorkel gear over to the other side where there is a shallower, smaller beach. And this area had a lot of fish and more wildlife, I feel, but it was much more murky and the sand was so coarse. It really hurt going to and from the shore. <laughs> you really had to have flip flops nearby or have water shoes on or something. We tried to investigate the crabs digging with the fish just laying on top of the sand, but it was just so tough to see because they were so small. But there were so many of them. Each of these holes had a crab and fish duo. I wonder if it's a hunting thing or if it is just trying to stay low profile. I'm not sure. But the crabs and the fish didn't touch each other and didn't do anything with each other. No contact platonic relationship, if you ask me. Okay, and since I had already explored the other side's stair area. I decided to head to the Samal huts and see if there were more fish in this area. And I was right. There are not only barnacles, and crabs that are along the posts of these huts, but a bunch of striped fish, as well as some kind of like eel looking things, which I wasn't sure if I should go near. So I kind of stayed away. The fish here are bigger and we did see a two footer of some sort or like one and a half foot fish try to eat a smaller one. So different vibe on this side. Also, I feel like the temperature change in water is more drastic here. The other side has the bar hut that is overlooking the pier. But if you're not underneath that side, then it doesn't get too cold at all. Here, there were patches of cool and warm water.
Merci. Stop moving. Maybe they'll come down again. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the birds. There's a lot on that tree, too. Full now of water. They all had their fill. Guy gave us an extra table because we're fat. But I got my GNT, my Long Island, and two highballs, and a view. Just poop because he was provoking it. I didn't provoke nothing. And they almost fell in my drinks. I on moved your drinks, bro. I moved your drinks. Of course, I had to do some flow because what better place to do it than this exact spot? Looks like the bayou, Disneyland. I don't think you could tell, but that's really dark. Ouch. <laughs> okay, like now you can see it. Uh, you are baked, bro. Uh, yeah, I'll save your eyes from the atrocities, but you could tell from the color differences while this video is blurred what damage had happened. Luckily, my mom had some ointment that helped a lot with the healing process. That's so cute. Remember I told you it had the like romantic No. Oh, 
the cream of mushroom. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it so that other people can learn more about what the Philippines has to offer. Subscribe and click the notification bell. And until next time, keep curious, everyone. Jack out.